I'm Sha and this is Shani Reads. I have got some books to show you, so um, there's some books I bought over the last few months, I guess. I can't remember when the last time I did a haul was, but I felt like I haven't bought that many. I bought a few recently, um, but had gone a, a big expanse of time without buying any, so well done me. Um, yeah, I will just show you them. So these two I bought a little while ago. One of them is this one, which is... Uh, to Leave with the Ranger by Olivia Rosenthal, which is translated by Sophie Lewis. I think it must be translated from the French. Um, see if it says... Yeah, I think it's translated from the French. It's got really lovely kind of images. Um, it's got a different cover when you look at it in online, so I was kind of teeny bit disappointed by this cover because I wanted the other one, but this one's still nice. And it's on And Other Stories, um, who also published um, the book... Uh, Brother and Ice by Alicia Cop, which I really enjoyed. Um, I think I saw this one on Mercedes' channel, and it just sounded interesting. Um, I I like a reindeer, <laughs> and it also just says it's about kind of exploring the human-animal relationship, and I kind of, yeah, it sounds like something I would really enjoy. And then the other one I bought at that point was this one, which is The Pleasure Activism, The Politics of Feeling Good, which is written and gathered by Adrian Marie Brown. Um, Adrian Marie Brown wrote the book Divergent Strategy? Emergent Strategy? <laughs> uh, yeah, one of the other, I think it's Emergent Strategy. And I really, really enjoyed that one. I thought it was just really smart and it just, um, yeah, kind of really resonated with me. Um, and this looks good too. It's a collection of lots of different people. So including... Um, you know, Audrey Lord, but also uh, Alex, Alexis Pauline Gums, uh, Cara Page, Sonia Rene, Taylor. Um, and it says that it's how to make social justice the most pleasurable human experience. How can we awaken within ourselves desires that make it impossible to settle for anything less than a fulfilling life? I think it's going to be really interesting. It kind of comes under gender, sexuality and race. Um, and yeah, collected stories and a few kind of... Um, oh a nice picture but a few images in there as well some kind of um paintings too i'll go into this one next actually because it kind of um ties in and that is care work uh dreaming disability justice leah lakshmi Pe pepsner samarasina um and she actually has an essay in this book and i i haven't looked into it much i only got this this morning actually but i have a feeling that it's repeated one of the S's in here is repeated in here, um, but that's fine. And this comes under social sciences, disability studies, ethnic studies. This one I've kind of been aware of for a little while and it just looks fascinating. I think it's going to be really good. It's a collection of essays and it says that it talks about care work um, as ma a mapping of access as radical love, a celebration of the work that sick and disabled queer people of colour or queer slash people of colour um, are doing to find each other and to build power and community and a toolkit for everyone who wants to build radically resilient, sustainable communities of liberation where no one is left behind. So I think it's going to be amazing. Um, actual spinster, if you watch her channel, I will link it. She, I think, has been reading this one and has talked quite um, about how much she likes it as well. So I think that one is going to be good. And then these ones, <laughs> these two are kind of not really my usual books. Um, and I think that was a little bit disgusted by my uh, choices here. But I went on a uh, management and leadership course for work. And I've actually only been one day. There's two more days to go. Um, and I also have to write three essays as well. Um, but I felt, I think it was partly I felt like I needed a treat after doing a day of uh, leadership and management. But also I'm kind, I was kind of interested in reading more about this word, which is... Why should anyone be led to by you? Why should anyone be led by you? What it takes to be an authentic leader by Rob Goffey and Gareth Jones. Um, I just saw this book there. They had quite a few. It was like in Smiths at the station. Um, so I don't know, you know, anything about if it's actually a good book or not. Um, might surprise you. I don't suppose so. But I don't think that um, I would be like thought of as a natural leader and manager. Um, but I try my best. <laughs> Um, but I'm kind of, I like this, you know, I kind of, where's the course is sort of a bit, you're kind of learning stuff just to get a qualification, which I don't really enjoy as a thing. Um, I do, I kind of feel its basis is actually really good. It's kind of about, you know, empowering people and letting, you know, and working together and not being that kind of dictator of, 
you have to do this, you have to do that, but that kind of, yeah, finding your way together, but also not letting, you know, supporting people to do, to be their best, I guess, and um, supporting people to be able to be creative and share their ideas and have a happy work life. So, yeah, I'm all for that. <laughs> also, I was kind of thinking, you know, this stuff around, I teach yoga as well, I feel that that kind of, you're leading that group, you're holding space for that group, um, so I wonder if that can kind of overlap. I don't know. Uh, it was two for, or buy one get one half price, so I also bought this one, which is Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind, Yuval Noah Harari. Um, and I was kind of, you know, I've known about this one for ages, I know lots of people have read it, and I think it's going to be quite good, it looks quite readable. Um, but um, I went on a yoga course a little while ago and they also suggested it because I think it, they were talking about it, how you can, it just makes you understand the body a little bit more and you can come at, so um, the course is about yoga and stress or how to help stress with yoga. Uh, and I think it, yeah, it, it, it's a kind of interesting kind of link there as well. That was a bit nonsensical. Anyways. Uh... Moving on. This is I Was There, American Dream, a graphic memoir by Malika Garib. And I, it was one lunchtime, I popped out to get myself a vegan chicken sandwich and I had to walk past um, Forbidden Planet, which is the kind of graphic novel comic shop. And they have one little section which is kind of more indie, indie graphic novels. And this was there and it just looks so good. Here's some of the uh, artwork. And I've already read it and I really loved it and it's about this girl growing up in America so she's born in America but her mother is Filipino and her father is Egyptian and it's that kind of people are always asking her well where are you from and she doesn't quite feel that she fits into any of the um kind of particular areas because she doesn't feel like she's American she doesn't feel like she's Filipino enough compared to the rest of the family and she doesn't feel like when she goes and visits her dad in Egypt she doesn't feel like she kind of fits in there completely either so it's about that kind of finding your place I guess and I really really enjoyed it and I kind of feel that this one which I've just bought as well sort of follows on a little bit or links with it because this is about um kind of being asked as well you know where you're from even if you might be uh, born in um the country that you're living in uh, so this is um being born in Britain so it says in the back you're British your parents are British your partner your children and most of your friends are Brit British so why do people keep asking you where you're from um so this is by Afra Hirsch and it says on race, identity and belonging. I came across her because she, she'd recently done this um, interview where it was like a panel interview, which was just, she was just amazing on it. The rest of the panel were awful, but she was so good and spoke so well. Um, and I will find a link and uh, link it below for you so that you can have a little look as well. Cause I just kept watching it over and over cause I just thought she was amazing. And I wanted to buy a book after watching that. And I think it's going to be um, good as well. She was great. Um, I've also got this one, which is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, which is like a young adult kind of murder mystery, I think. It's about the girl who goes to stay in a um, Ellingham Academy, a famous private school in Vermont. And I think it kind of links with an old crime as well. It looks so fun. I've wanted it for a little while. Bert bought it for me as a kind of early um, birthday gift. It's my birthday coming up. And he'd, I, th I know that he'd ordered a pile of books and he let me have one early after I requested <laughs> and um oh no I'll go with this one next house magic by Erica Feldman transform your home create your sanctuary it's just kind of a nice little book with lots of images a nice one for kind of just flicking through got lots of different stuff kind of about meditation crystals um does it have any I hope it's got some cooking as well. Maybe it's got a little bit of cooking balance, tarot, all the good stuff. And then the last one I've got is the book of Night Women by Marlon James. Thank you to everyone who has um, talked about Marlon James to me because I mentioned I had his latest book from the library in um, one of my last videos um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to get on with him and I had such positive kind of comments about him. Um, so but also people suggested I start with this one. So I've bought this one. I think we're also going to read it for our reading group. So if you live in Cardiff and you want to join the reading group, let me know and I'll give you the details. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start here and then I think I'm going to buy the other two as well because I now feel that Marlon's going to be one of my favourite writers because when I've started them, you can tell that the writing is just really good. So 
yes, that is all the books. So there's only actually two fiction in there and the rest are non-fiction. So it's kind of a nice pile. So yeah, let me know which one you have read. Um, <laughs> or yeah, if any spark your interest. I will see you soon. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.